We're a couple of days away from the release of Google's latest Android treat, Android P. The rumored release date is expected somewhere mid or end of August, and in this video I'm bringing to you my top favorite Android P highlights. So let's get started. What's up people, my name is Dario and this is the Oxygen OS version of Android P Beta running on a OnePlus 6 device. So as I already said in the introduction, let's take a look at my favorite things that I really like about this new version of Android. And let's start with the most obvious one, the UI. So this year we can see that Google has this weird obsession with rounded UI elements and we can really see that throughout the operating system everything is now rounded. Starting from the pull down menu in the navigation bar to the search bar in the settings and also the task manager app windows. Additionally even the smaller things like the media control menu and the power menu also now have rounded edges. I saw that a lot of people are not really big fans of this UI design choice but in my opinion, I think it gives a much more simplified and a much more refined experience. Especially, for example, in the pull-down menu in the navigation bar, where each icon now is nested in a round circle, which gives the impression that the icons are now the same size, which, in my opinion, results in a much cleaner look than it previously did, where the icons didn't have these rounded backgrounds. So an additional thing that I really like in this new version of Android is the media control and power menu. So for example now by clicking on the volume rockers on the left side of the phone you are now controlling media volume as of previously you were controlling ringer volume. An additional thing that you can also do from here is mute or unmute media and it also gives you direct access to your media output devices for example a Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphones. Additionally, by long pressing the power button in the power menu, you also now have an option to trigger a screenshot. As you can see, by pressing any of these buttons, the menus appear right next to the button, which in the end gives the user much more context in terms of what function he is actually triggering in that moment. Another thing that I really like here is the new gesture controls. So now we have a new way to interact with the home button, back button, and also the task manager. With these new gesture controls, we have more screen estate, because there is no fixed menu bar on the bottom of the screen. As you can see, these gesture controls still look a bit incomplete and not really smooth, and I do think it will take some time to actually get used to them. But, in return, we are rewarded with precious vertical screen space. Of course, if you don't like these gesture controls, you always have the option to enable the traditional navigation bar. And of course, there are also some smaller things that I really like in this new version of Android. Like for example, in the app drawer menu, you now have a small bump animation when scrolling to the end of the menu. And the last thing being the new settings menu. So as you can see in the new menu, there is now less options more of the submenus are now being grouped together and there's also a very clear categorization of the menus which is also additionally reinforced with the colored icons next to them. Also on top of the menu you have this rounded search bar which is consistently displayed throughout the submenus as well. In general I think that this new settings menu is less overwhelming for the end user and that it's much more easier to navigate. We can see that this year's new version of Android is not really a dramatic update compared to the previous versions of Android and also that the focus here with Android P was mainly on refining, streamlining and also simplifying the user experience. I'm really excited about the final release of Android P and I can't wait to finally get it on my smartphone. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and also maybe learned something new. 
This is my third video release so far and as you can see there is still a lot that I need to learn to get my videos on another level. But if you guys liked it so far, please hit the like button and subscribe. Take care.